A product manager is someone who's in charge of a product that a company is trying to build. Now this product could be a physical device like an iPhone or an iPod, or more recently it could be a thermostat, like something that Tony Fidel recently has started to upgrade and improve for the home. But even more recently, we've seen this development of software products. So there's lots of product owners of software tools. So that would be anything from Scribe, which you've heard me talk about that records, you know, guides or Lemon Squeezy, which is a new app that you can add on it to make payments easier for your SaaS companies, something like that all need product managers. So in this video, we're going to go over my top five favorite software tools that you can use as a product manager. Okay, so the first tool we're going to talk about is Notion. So you can see you're in my YouTube Notion, and this is how I track all my YouTube videos, which are basically like mini projects. So you can see within them, there's a script and stuff like that. Um, sometimes I'll even put um, screenshots or videos that I recommend watching um, that might relate to the video. But what's cool is that this is more for project management. And I know as a product manager, your job isn't necessarily to manage the people per se, but more of the product, but you're gonna be developing the backlog, the things that people are actually going to care about and build. So there's a new template in here, which you can use, and it's called um, Projects and Tasks. And this is the one that I use at work. Now I can't show you my work one because confidentiality reasons, but this is what we use. So we'll have like an assignee, so somebody, a due date, priority, and you as a product manager would come up with these tasks. So you would say, look, there's three different projects, one, two, and three, and you are to add the task there. So you decide these are the features that I want you to build, and then you make subtasks, and then you assign it to your engineers, and your scrum master or somebody, or your project manager per se, is in charge of making sure that they actually complete the tasks, but you have to build the backlog. So this is a perfect software for you to build out all the tasks that you want done, all the features you want added to your product, stuff like that. And this is what I recommend as far as project management. I've tried a couple other tools, but this is the one that I keep coming back to because it's just so simple and also very visually appealing. You can add priorities, you can tag, maybe some things are websites, maybe some things are mobile stuff like that. So I highly recommend using the project and tasks feature within Notion and building out your projects that way, and then your tasks and subtasks. The next tool I want to talk about is Ice Panel. So I have a full review on this, so I'll link it below, but Ice Panel allows you to build out the architecture of your software product. So within this view, you can build out your actors, your customers, right, and how they interact with your tools. So let me just show you a more, like building an app. You would say, look, this is my app. Let's say it's in Azure, you know, you can, your customer interacts, they open your app, right? You could say, oh, it's built, the front end is Angular, the back end is SQL. You can start building out the architecture, right? If you zoom, you can zoom back out, right, into this kind of view, and then you can zoom in using the plus. And this allows you to build out exactly how processes, procedures, or just how your app is built in general, like documentation, you can click here and write notes about the Angular application, who's working on it. You can link it to GitHub right here. You can add a link and say, look, here's our repository. So this is really good if you're using a software application and or if you're really annoyed with Microsoft Visio or a Lucid chart or some of those static kind of procedure kind of views, this one has layers. So it's really, really nice to get a feel for what you're building and also really great to communicate with other technical people. It is like the data architecture of what you are building. So I recommend that 100% to product managers. It's what I use at work. Um, and I love it. I can't show exactly what I'm working on. Again, confidentiality reasons, but I started using it um, for my act, my my actual side business kind of stuff and how I do invoices. And here we have QuickBooks. You can zoom into QuickBooks and see that I have some stuff in here for invoicing, um, you know, and I could add some more tasks for transactions, but you can zoom back out. So it's really, really nice and see, you know, how does PayPal interact with, out, um, with QuickBooks and you know, how does this dashboard interact with this? So it's really nice to lay out 
your entire framework of what you're working on. The next application is called Scribe. Now this allows you to record your screen and it auto generates a training manual. So a step-by-step -step guide. And you don't actually have to do the screenshots yourself. You just click and it will screenshot for you, which I love. You also can make these pages. So if I click in this page, you can write up a bunch of notes and then have a link here, like a embedded workflow, which tells you, oh, this is Office, Microsoft login. Here, click the admin center, click show all, SharePoint, like how do you actually do the things that you need to do um, without, without it just being words, like screenshots, everyone loves screenshots. So I love this software. It's the thing that I've been using the most recently. I have it for any consulting work I do. And also I have one for my newsletter. So if somebody, you know, if I was hiring somebody and I needed, hey, log into Ghost, Here's how to create a post, follow these steps, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I've been using them together with Ice Panel. So on Ice Panel, you can add a link. So if I did like a link on here, I can add a link here and link it to a how to create an invoice scribe and it would auto go to a page like this. So I've been using those in tandem together. Um, I originally made it in Lucid Chart, which you can see here but now I'm starting to move all my stuff over to Ice Panel because this is just so boring. Like I would rather use Ice Panel with the, with the zooming and then the linking. Um, you, can't, you can link in here as well, but it's just not, at, it's a little more clunky. So I'm gonna use Ice Panel and Scribe and that's exactly what I've started to use at work as well. Now Swim is another really cool software that auto generates your coding documentation. So when I was talking about documentation and the other, the Scribe stuff, that is actually user documentation or how to actually do things step by step. This would be for your code. So if you're building a software product and you need to document what your developers are doing, you can have them use Swim and that will auto generate their documentation as they code. And then when they update their code, it will update the documentation automatically. There's a, there's a couple other tools depending on what um, tech stack you're using. So just Google auto documentation code and Swim will come up, DocFX will come up. Just make sure that you have your developers understand that they should use something that auto generates now because you don't have to build your documentation on your own. You can have it linked to your code. So that way they don't have to constantly be updating variable names and stuff like that. Okay, last but not least, Innaten is one of my more favorite tools to tell people about when they're dealing with automation or dealing with um, customizing some um, integrations and stuff like that. So Innaten is really cool. You come in here, you start from scratch. You can click anything that you want to do right? And in here, there's all kinds of technology. So you can do Notion, you could do Trello. So if you have a bunch of apps and you need to connect them together, this one's really cool. But the cooler part about this is it actually does stuff that a lot of the automation softwares like Zapier, Make.com can't do. And that's like this fancy kind of um, convert JSON to an Excel file. Like it handles more code kind of stuff. You can even put in your own scripts. And so you can give it an Excel file, run a JavaScript script, do this, send that over here. And this one's really cool for developers. So you can go click development, automate assigning GitHub issues. Like there's some really cool stuff in here that you can do that you can't do in other automation so software. And as a product manager, you just need to be aware of some of these software tools just to make your team move faster and develop the product even faster. Um, it's just good to have this knowledge database of like what are some software tools out there that can help my team. So as you can see, software is everything right now. There are so many different tools that are coming out and I like to review these kind of tools here and there and let you know if it's worth the hype. So if you wanna see a more detailed view of Scribe or Nathan, I have separate, completely separate videos on those and actually walk you through step-by-step step how to use it rather than this like very quick summary. So check those out. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.